Tatcha is a great addition to any team of survivors, as she is the best negotiator of all the characters. She is Franco's equal and can get a good deal on pretty much anything. Welcome back to a survivor's guide to this war of mine. Today we will be looking at Catcher's mechanics and her story. Catcher's traits is bargaining skills, which means she gets 20% more for each trait. This is hugely useful given how frequently Franco comes to the door, as well as how many other locations have traders that you can interact with. It's worth bearing in mind that she only has 12 scavenger slots though, so trading elsewhere can be limited, but overall she is a vital character to have in your game. Her other stats are low grades in combat and guarding at E and D, and is addicted to coffee. She has a homey personality, meaning she is alright at consoling, and she also has a decent skill at guitar. Now that we have gone through the mechanics of her character, here is Catcher's story. We'll start with the happy story, then go to the sad story, and then we'll go through her possible endings. Catcher's happy story. Number one. I've been around more than any of my friends or relatives. I've met famous people. Readers found my interviews funny and incisive. But when I try to write down my experiences, I'm stuck. I want to find and hug my folks, not write about them. I wish I had been seeing them more often. Number two. This city used to welcome everybody with open arms. I loved the old town cafes where I could go and meet new friends from all over the world. Will people ever become this easygoing again? If we make it through, I must do what I can to help them remember how it was, because we can accomplish a lot if we just stand together. Number three. When, defeated, I was about to leave my parents' neighbourhood, my childhood friend recognised me. I thought he'd help me find out what happened to my folks, Turned out, it was I who could help. A local girl had been held up by the army under some pretense. Everybody turned up at the base to protest and demand her release. They needed a deputy. I marched into the base, flashing my press badge and demanded in English to see the commander. After a bit of bickering, he assured me that there must have been some mix-up and the girl would be released. I guess the envelope with evidence gathered among the locals helped out as much as my bluff, but what counts is that we got her out. While that was the good story, we can now move on to Catcher's sad story. Number one. I've been around more than any of my friends and relatives. Been to the Oscar galas, talked to socialites. I should have stayed with my own people and talked to my folks. Instead, I wasted my life writing fluff pieces on buffoons and deemed it important. You don't appreciate what you have until you lose it. Number two. So many years I've spent away that I hardly recognised my city. I used to be friends with everybody. Now, if I smile to a stranger, I'm taken for a fool or a prostitute or, worse still, a snitch. But I'm fine with that. There are other ways to compel people into seeing things my way. Number three. I was about to leave my parents' neighbourhood empty-handed when an acquaintance halted me and said that there was a situation I could help with. The army had arrested a local beauty under some cooked-up charge. I guess it doesn't need explaining what she was wanted for. The locals pulled the ransom money and needed someone to deliver it. Number four. My press badge and a bit of bluffing bought me five minutes with the commander. It was all I needed to convince him that it would be in his best interest to give up the girl and take the bribe. He insisted that we exchange contacts to meet in more opportune circumstances. I agreed. I still could use the opportunity to erase that smug smile off his face forever. Catcher's story is an interesting one. Her endings are also interesting, and depend on the circumstances at the end of the war. If Catcher dies during the war. Catcher never found her parents, but they did find her grave one day, with her war diary buried alongside. They published it without any alterations. It became a bestseller. If Catcher kills herself. Unable to cope with what had transpired, Catcher broke down completely. She was found dead, her hand still clutching her war diary. Her parents never learned about her fate. If Catcher leaves the shelter. Catcher left the shelter one night, leaving behind her war diary. It was passed to her distraught parents, who published it a few years later. If you don't let Catcher join the party. Catcher's smooth talking didn't secure her a place in the shelter. Unfortunately, she was later captured by the military and spent the rest of the war imprisoned. She never spoke of what happened to her in captivity. 
if Catcher survives the war, but with poor karma. After the war, Catcher located her parents in a refugee camp abroad, but they were no longer the people she knew. They remained abroad, where they're struggling to forget the past. Catcher has burnt all her notes, and she never writes about the war. If Catcher survives the war, in a sad state. Catcher used her contacts to find her parents in a refugee camp abroad. She returned to the city, but they refused, and once again they were separated. After a few years they passed away, and only then did Catcher find the determination to publish her war diary. And finally, if Catcher survives the war, in a good state, without dealing too much harm. Catcher used her contacts to find her parents in a refugee camp abroad. She brought them back to the city and helped them rebuild their house. Soon after that, she published her war diary, which became a bestseller and drew widespread attention to the fate of civilians during war. So that is Catcher's story. I hope you found this video interesting, and if you did, please do like, subscribe, and consider donating to Warchild. Thanks very much, and I will see you in the next video. Ta-ra.